you guys before i get into this video i want to thank teddy blake for sending me this beautiful bag let me show it to you guys they sent me this a while back maybe a few months back and i'm just now getting to it so you guys know i'm a simple girl i like simple things so i chose a very simple bag but this is the box that it comes in it's really cute really sleek i love the packaging already before you even get to the bag so i've seen the bag already but you know i'm going to show you guys obviously when you open the box it just says teddy blake and you know it tells you it's designer handbags made in italy luxury leather so their whole thing for their company is to have affordable bags but also very cute and very high quality bags for everyday girls and everyday wear they also have some pretty high-end bags as well but me i don't go anywhere too fancy for me to be carrying around you know a really big bag or anything so i got a small cute little bag it comes in this other bag to keep it protected and i just feel like again the packaging is so nice like look at it it is so nice so let me open it for you guys ah, so this is the bag i think it is literally the cutest thing ever it's literally so it's basic but it's just enough like it's like okay when you look at it but at the same time it's like that bag is for a baby. So this is the bag. It has Teddy Blake on it, of course. And then on the inside, it's like this velvety type of material. And it's brown on the inside. And it's pretty deep. Like, what? I don't really carry too many things in my bag usually. But my phone, I put my phone in it. Keep lip gloss in it. And it's, it's literally so spacious. Your wallet can go in here. A lot of things can go in here. And you won't run out of space for everyday things. So I love this bag so much. It comes with... A strap oops yeah so it comes with a strap crossbody well that's how I like to wear my bags I love a good crossbody but look y'all so like this and it's not too long either I love a good crossbody a lot of people don't like crossbody but I love crossbodies it's not too long if you're a crossbody wearer you know I I don't know maybe it's just me but I hate when it come past my hip like when it touch when it start touching my thigh i feel like that's way too long for a bag i hate that but i really don't like shoulder bags either i love just having something to sling around and go i just feel like the it just looks so cute to me i love that and the leather is so nice like it don't feel cheap it don't feel like it's about to if i scratch it it's gonna peel i'm sorry y'all i'm saying literally so much but i just really love the bag and i think if you guys like quality items that are affordable you need to be getting your bag from here so i'll have more information in my description box below so if you guys like this bag or if you guys see any bags that you like on their website definitely copy one because if you don't have teddy blake then what you have all right come on now thank you to teddy blake for sending me this bag i love it so much i don't want to talk too much so let's get right on into the video Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dylan and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Alright y'all, so today I was been supposed to do this video, but you know, y'all know I don't do things in a timely manner. So but anyway, I'm going to try to look here instead of here. But so today I'm going to be doing an assumptions about me video. So back in, let's see, December, way last year, back in December, I posted something on my story saying, you know, like you guys, put your little assumptions about me in the little box and I'll answer for a video. So I got a good amount of things and you know they are like I want to I want to invasive but you know you guys are pretty nosy. Y'all are nosy. I want to do this video because I did my makeup today y'all and this is my first time ever doing makeup by myself and I'm actually pretty proud of it like it came out cute and it looked natural and it's like you know i do want to learn how to like do some contour i'll probably add some bronzer or something but i have to like do some more research on that i just did the simple no makeup makeup look you know what i'm saying real chill and i think i did a good job like for my first time no flashback too like i literally put the flash on me and i still look good like all right so that's besides the point i was just telling you guys what inspired me to do this video it's because i simply look cute of course but anyway without further ado let's get right into the video okay so i don't want to start with a too like 
oh my goodness all right because uh -uh. all right so i'm gonna just start with something really chill okay so somebody says you seem very quiet and laid back well i like to think that i am very quiet and laid back i mean people have also told me that like when i'm at school a lot of people tell me like you know you're just really quiet like i don't talk a lot but i feel like once i do start talking it's gonna be hard to make me shut up because you know like i said i don't talk a lot especially me being like the only child and be having nobody to talk to on a day to day basis so i be talking to myself when i actually have somebody to have a conversation with i talk too much so i would y'all would probably rather me be quiet than talk too much so yeah i feel like i am quiet and laid back a lot of people tell me that i'm chill and stuff you know so yeah all right next one somebody says i thought you were at least an 04 baby no very much 06 repping for my 06 kids you know what i'm saying because we are really i'm not gonna say we the best year i don't have time for y'all to be in my comments having a war about the years i don't care about all that but no i was born in 06 and i just made 17 last month because that was my birthday in january so yeah um somebody else said you're mixed if so with what no i am not mixed my parents are both black and i don't know if they're mixed with anything as far as i can see as far as my family tree goes nobody is mixed over here so no and if i am i wouldn't know what i'm mixed with because we don't even know half of our family so no i don't know y'all i don't i'm not somebody else said that you love food so yes that is right that is definitely right i love food like if i could be food i would be food seriously like i just this is why my mom be so mad at me because all i do is spend my money on food because if y'all know me i don't go nowhere i'm literally always in the house so there's nothing else for me to spend money on besides getting food that i want brought to me like doordash literally takes all of my money and it really be winks that take out my money i just i need to stop i'm pretty sure i probably spend like <sighs> i don't need much no i couldn't even give y'all an estimate but just know that i spent too much money if i were to calculate it it would be too much and y'all would probably be like are you serious and it's like yeah it's just really bad so yes i do love food and it's crazy because i really don't gain weight at all it's like i would stay the same size and if i do eat i'll go up like a few pounds but literally give me an hour so it's done like that weight is back to what it was and it's like where's my weight going well i feel like i have gained a little bit of weight but it's not going to like my body like i feel like it's going to my face like i feel like my face is so chubby like y'all see that like it's just giving chubby and i feel like it's because i'm always eating all the time so i want to get in the gym but you know i'm too lazy for that i don't know i want to do pilates but that's that's a story for another day we we're not in, we're not doing that right now but yeah so if y'all see you doing pilates one day yeah anyway next somebody said okay this one you're not funny whoever said this well, I'm looking at your name, but anyway. Somebody said you are like 6'3 in height. B for real. Like B for real. No, I'm not no 6'3. I am 5'5. Five five. Okay, I'm 5'5. Five five. Thank you very much. I know I look tall because I'm long and I'm skinny, but I'm not that tall. I'm literally 5'5. Five five. That's average height for a woman. Okay? Period. I might look a little tall because my friends that I be with be short, but no. I'm regular somebody else said you are very put together and carry yourself well yes i am very put together well yeah i am put together like sometimes mentally i'm all over the place because i don't be knowing what i want to do and you know i just be doing stuff but like when it comes to looking good and stuff and like stuff of that nature yeah i'm very put together like very classy i like to keep it classy you know yeah I don't know and yes i care myself well like i just i don't i just feel like certain stuff is embarrassing and as a woman certain things you shouldn't do but that's again that's a that's a story for another time but yeah like it's just some things that as a girl like it should just be common sense stuff like you know what i'm saying if you know you know the girls that get it get it, and the girls that don't just don't y'all know what i'm trying to say but anyway yes thank you because i like to think that i'm very put together and stuff as well so yeah so somebody else said you are an introvert well basically i just told y'all that like 
two questions ago yeah i am introvert i'm always inside and i would say it's by choice but at the same time it's like 50 50 because if y'all know i have friends in atlanta and when i'm with them you know they get me outside sometimes i'm not gonna sit here and lie because i'm just a homebody in general like my best friend she was trying to get me outside like what that was like 2022 20, summer and i was just not going for it i didn't go to no parties no nothing i just don't be I don't be feeling it like i really gotta be in the mood and half the time i'm not in the mood so yeah I, I like to be in the house but when it is time for me to you know get hype trust i can get hype okay but yeah i am inside all the time i just can't wait till i learn how to drive and get a car because i feel like then i'm not gonna be a homebody i'm not gonna be at parties all the time or nothing but at least i'll be outside of the house like i could do, go run errands or something you know because I don't like sitting in the house all the time, but I also don't be wanting to go to parties every time I leave the house, if y'all understand what I'm trying to say. So somebody said, not gonna lie, look wise, you give mean girl, but you're genuinely sweet. That is very true. A lot of people tell me that I look mean, like for example, when I'm at school, when like, you know, when we're really, really cool, they be telling me like, you know, Dale, like when I first met you, like when I first saw you, I thought you was gonna be mean and stuck up. And it's just like, why do y'all think that? Why do y'all think that? I really don't understand because I'm very sweet and I'm very nice. And my friends, my really, really close friends, they're probably going to be like, you're not nice. You're not sweet. But surface level, I'm very sweet. I'm very approachable. You just have to, you know, I don't, I'm not going to say I'd be mugging, but like when I'm just sitting there by myself, I can look a little over it or like don't approach me. But in reality, that's not how it is. Like I could be sitting there cold face like this. But as soon as somebody walk up to me, I'm cheesy. Somebody else said you run game. Um, I want to. I okay. I don't know. I don't think I run. I'm not gonna lie. No, I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> I don't run game. Do I run game? No, I just be talking. And if you think that I'm flirting, then you think that I'm flirting. Like I don't know what to tell you. I'm not running game purposely. I just you know. I'm just smooth, like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just smooth, I just could talk and people were like, dang, she feeling the whole time. Your gang, so I don't know. I don't think, I could probably run game a little bit, you know, sometimes I do be knowing what I'm doing. I do be just, you know, toying with people sometimes, but I'm not really on that time anymore. I feel like I didn't chill out, you know? I'm just, I feel like I don't want to talk to nobody else I really like you. So I've been chilling recently. I haven't been talking to nobody or running game on nobody because i don't feel like being bothered at the moment but i could run game if i want to i guess so yeah anyway next okay so somebody said you hate living in nola um all right so i'm not gonna say i hate living out here but i'm not gonna say that i love it either because it's pros and cons to any place somebody is staying like in new orleans i feel like i love the culture i love the people but it's just the environment in general i just feel like it's such a closed space like it's just not much for me left here so i want to leave but at the same time when it comes time for me to leave like if we talk about moving then i'm just like oh my gosh no i don't want to leave my city i'm scared well i would say i'm scared but you know i'm just anxious to start a whole new life it's just too much but no i don't hate new orleans i just it's just nothing left for me here so, so that's why i want to leave that's why i want to leave but i still love everything here and i still love all the people here and stuff but yeah i don't hate the city i love my city okay next somebody said sometimes you wish you was hanging with my car and her friends but you live miles away and see that that is true actually i do miss my friends in atlanta like i literally miss them all the time like when i see them out having fun it's like dang i wish i was with y'all but that's like a whole seven hour drive and everything so i can just be getting in the car and then leave and then coming back to the city like it's just not realistic but yeah i do miss them and i want i do be wanting to hang out with them but i live here so i can't hang out with them but i do cherish the time that i do get to spend with them when i do visit and everything so yeah next somebody said you look like girls where y'all get that from um no i don't like girls i don't like girls that just isn't for me like if you do like girls you know that is not a problem but me personally i just couldn't see myself dating a girl or anything like that girls are only my friends so yeah 
I like boys, y'all. I don't like girls. Okay, next. Somebody says, oh my goodness, what? Somebody said, I feel like you be stealing people boyfriends. What? Like, hold on. Let's pause. Stealing people boyfriends, is that what I look like? Is that what you take me for? A man stealer? Wow, that's very low. Like, that was, that was so low. No, I do not steal people man. Like, I just, because somebody stole my man, it would be hell on earth. So I know I would never want to steal somebody's man unless they do something to me. But I haven't been in that predicament to where I have to have done that. So no, I don't. But no, I don't go around just looking to scout and steal people's boyfriends. That is not me. I don't do that because I have been through some things and I've seen some stuff and I just know it's not a good feeling being the person who's stealing people's man and being the person who's getting their man stolen. So no, I don't I don't do that. That's not me. No. Anyway, somebody said, okay, so this is kind of like the same thing. Somebody said you're a softie and then somebody else said you're a lover girl. So I feel like those are kind of the same thing. So to answer that, I feel like I can be both of those things, but when you, when people first meet me, like when I'm talking to dudes, like when I'm talking to guys and everything, they not even I'm not going to lie. No. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not. I mean, I I don't know like I said I can be like but I really really have to like you like it's just not something in me that's gonna be automatically like oh my god I like him so much and I'm just so clean like that's just not me no mm -mm. cuz you know I'm not even gonna get into that but I've learned from the past and you know really I've just learned to not get so attached to people and I feel like since I've been by myself for so long it's kind of hard to show that little girl side because then I'm gonna feel like all right now I'm letting my guard down now I feel like you know that lets people think that they can play with me when I'm in a vulnerable state so it really takes somebody real special to get that style out of me and I haven't met nobody like that recently so at the moment I'm not a little girl but I have been before and I can be one. It's just not in me right now. Or nobody has brought it out of me right now. Somebody says, I don't know any assumptions, but you naturally give a genuine vibe. I don't know if anybody told you. Well, this is kind of like something that I kind of already answered, but yeah, like a lot of people tell me that I'm a very down to earth girl and you know, I'm very easy to talk to. I just feel like I, I like being that person that somebody can talk to and not feel judged. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just really like that. So, yeah. I, I want to be genuine to people so I can, be, I can gain genuine people for myself. Because I don't want to be surrounded by no people that don't like me for real. Why would I? Come on now. Who wants to be surrounded by people who don't like them? So, you give out what you want. You see? Exactly. Somebody said... Uh, I don't have an assumption, but I don't. I didn't think you had an IG with all the followers. I guess this is this was somebody. I'm not gonna say I guess this was somebody I went to school with, and again, I, we was literally just having this conversation when I was at school like two days ago. It was like when I met you, I didn't know you had all the followers, and it's like yeah, because I don't go around telling people that I do what I do. Like if you find out, cool, that's cool, but you're not about to say, oh yeah, I do YouTube and I'm about to be stuck up and I do Instagram and I got all these chicks out. No, I don't. I don't think it's necessary. Like, if you find out, then okay. But I'm not just about to be out here telling everybody what I have. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Somebody said you never smoked. I have smoked before. What I say, I like it. No, I don't like it. It's just not for me because I feel like okay, I've tried it a few times, and every time I feel the exact same way, I get all paranoid, and it's just not a good feeling for me or the person I'm with, because I know I'll be blowing it high. Yeah, no, that's just not for me. I don't like it. So, anyway, somebody said, I assume you don't mess with, okay, this is just to close it out, y'all. This is the close out. This is the last question. Well, not question, but this is the last assumption. Somebody said, I assume you don't F with us for real, because why you keep going ghost? That is not true. I love y'all. It's just like I told y'all when I started the video. I'm just I just be all over the place. I just be doing stuff. I don't be doing nothing. I'm lying. I'm literally lying. But I feel like I've gotten more consistent on things like TikTok and Instagram. Like I don't know how many posts I gave y'all last year, but that's that's good enough. I feel like I can up it this year. I already posted in January. I didn't do nothing for my birthday, so 
I couldn't, um, I didn't post nothing for that. But I want to post something in February for Valentine's Day. We're going to see how that works out. All right, you guys. So this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy uh, me talking about all of this stuff that you guys think that I am. Hopefully, you guys got the answers y'all thought y'all had in your mind. But anyway, so if you like today's video, like and subscribe and comment down below some more videos y'all want to see or just anything because I want to talk to y'all some more. I feel like nobody be commenting, so I want y'all to engage with me because I like talking to y'all when I'm in the comments. So, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.